everyone. So I wanted to read you a scholastic news nonfiction reader all about comets. So the Lyrid meteor shower is happening in the Northeast. And so I thought this was a great time to learn a little bit about comets, even though that uh, the meteor shower is actually, of course, meteors. But I thought I would teach you a little bit about comets. So um, this is a scholastic nonfiction news reader and it has some great information about comets that we can learn about. So, scholastic news readers are actually wonderful. They start out with something interactive for you to do. So there is actually a little word hunt that you can begin with when you are looking at this. So you could look for these words that are going to be in bold as we're reading through. You can look for a comet, you can look for the nucleus, you can look for orbit, you can look for all of these different words as we're going through. So let's start with comets. Can you catch a comet by one of its tails? No, one tail is made of dust, the other tail is made of gas. There is nothing to hold on to. So if you look here, you can see that there is one tail made of dust and one tail made of gas. nothing to hold on to. A comet is a big chunk of frozen water and gases with dust. When a comet gets close to the sun, it changes. The sun heats up the comet. Most of the center or nucleus of the comet stays frozen. So here you can see the nucleus of the comet and you can see that it's frozen even when it gets closer to the sun. The surface of the comet starts to come apart. This makes a cloud around the nucleus called a comma. Two tails are formed. One tail is dust coming off the comet. The other tail is made of gas. So here's a dust tail and here's the gas tail as the comet is heating up. So there's the dust tail and the gas tail again as it's heating up. Scientists think comets come from the Kuiper belt or the Oort cloud. The Kuiper belt begins near the planet Neptune. The Oort cloud is very far out in space. Scientists think the Oort cloud surrounds the solar system. Most comets travel around the sun on a path called an orbit. We do not see them all the time. The orbits of many comets take them very far away in outer space. Some do not come back for a long time. So here's the sun, here's the comet, you can see. Some comets leave pieces of dust and rock behind. When Earth passes through the path of comet pieces, they burn up. They make streaks of light called meteors or shooting stars. Sometimes we see many meteors at the same time. This is called a meteor shower. And this is what we're getting ready for this week. If you go out very early before dawn, you'll be able to hopefully see the meteor shower as long as the sky is clear. A good time to see meteors or shooting stars is in August. Stay awake and keep your eyes on the sky. Then make a wish on a shooting star. Have you ever made a wish on a shooting star? Comets are amazing. The word comet comes from the Greek word cometes. That mean, this means very long hair. When a comet heats up, part of it stays frozen and part does not. A comet's tail can be millions of miles long. Comets are big, dusty chunks of ice. Comets have four parts, a nucleus, a comma, and two tails. And that's the end of comets. A comet is a big, dusty chunk of ice with a tail. And you can watch for a comet's tail when it goes by. Hope you enjoyed this story. Bye everyone.